Good morning. In this class, we are going to see JK flip flop. Last class, we have seen SR flip flop and its drawback. Today, I am going to give brief introduction of SR flip flop and its disadvantage and how to convert SR flip flop into JK flip flop. S input, R input, Q output, remark. In SR flip flop, S equal to 1, R equal to 0 means Q equal to 1. That is set condition. When S equal to 0, R equal to 1 means Q equal to 0. This is a reset condition is a condition. When both are 0, 0 means, both are 0, 0 means, here the output will be 0 or 1. No change. Or previous state. Okay. Zero, 0 means it will retain its previous memory and 1 1 means we cannot give okay it is a forbidden state it is a forbidden state or not allowed because both the inputs are 1 means outputs are same and according to flip flop condition both the outputs are complement to each other. Therefore, we cannot give one one in case of SR flip flop. Now, how we overcome this drawback in JK flip flop? Just I am going to convert SR flip flop into JK. Just take. S of flip flop. I am not going to draw any NOR gate or NAND gate, just this is enough. Q and Q bar. Here, this S input, R input, Q output, Q bar output. Here, connect two AND gates here. One AND gate here and another AND gate here. Connect two AND gates. Now this S is equal to J input here. For JK flip flop, J input and this R is equal to K input. Now the change we are going to make for SR flip flop to convert into JK is just take a feedback line from this cube just to take your feedback line from this Q bar and connect to this AND gate ok and you just take another feedback line here which is used to connect here ok you take feedback line from Q and connect to this AND gate now two feedback lines have been connected. Now clock pulse is missing. You can connect the clock pulse here or you can connect the clock pulse here. Okay. Both are possible. I will connect the clock pulse here. I will connect the clock pulse here. Here this is CP and CP I always keep 1. CP I always keep 1. Because if it is 0 means whatever input here it will not reach here and you cannot generate output. Therefore, I am keeping always clock pulse as 1. Positive triggering or negative triggering. Usually it is a positive triggering here. Therefore, positive triggering clock pulse 1 here. Now, I will prepare the truth table for JK flip flop. Here, J, K, Q, Q bar. Okay. J, K, Q and Q bar. Okay. 
remark also you can do it. Okay. In SR flip flop, I have not included Q bar. Here I have included Q bar. Okay. I'll explain why I have included. Now initially let us assume. Initially let us assume Q equal to 0 and Q bar equal to 1. Okay, let us assume Q equal to 0 and Q bar equal to 1. Now I am giving J equal to 1 and K equal to 0. Okay, initially I am assuming this 0, 1 and here now I am giving the inputs J equal to 1, K equal to 0. Now when I give a clock pulse, what will happen? Let us see. Now due to this feedback connection, due to this feedback connection, here one will appear and this one is there, CP one is there, therefore this AND gate produces one. Okay, this AND gate produces one. Now here this feedback connection gives zero here and due to the presence of two zero, AND gate produces zero here. Okay. Due to this, 1, 0, you are getting. Now, S equal to 1, R equal to 0. S equal to 1, R equal to 0 in a SR flip-flop will generate Q equal to 1, Q bar equal to 0. Okay. Now, you are getting Q equal to 1, Q bar equal to 0. Okay. Q equal to 1, Q bar equal to 0. We have given j equal to 1, k equal to 0, q equal to 1, q bar equal to 0. This is set condition. This is set condition. Okay. Now, say this is 0. If now the flip flop changed its state. Now the flip flop changed its state. Now this output is 0. That means this output is 0. Here it comes. Here it comes. Therefore, here it is 0. That means this AND gate will not give any output. Now, this one is coming here. This one is coming here. Okay. But K equal to 0. Therefore, this also will not give anything. This also will not give anything. Therefore, this change in output, which is given as a feedback line, will not produce any change. Understand? This change in output is given as a feedback, but it will not produce any change in the output. Now let us change the input condition. Let us change the input condition. Now j equal to 0, k equal to 1. j equal to 0, k equal to 1. Now j equal to 0 means this is already 0, and this is also 0, this AND gate produces 0 only. Now due to this, okay, due to this, this one is coming here and this one, therefore you are getting 1 here. This AND gate produces 1, therefore S equal to 0, R equal to 1. That means for SR flip flop, it is a reset condition, therefore J equal to 0, K equal to 1 means Q equal to Q equal to 0, Q bar equal to 1. For S equal to 0, R equal to 1, Q equal to 0, Q bar equal to 1. Therefore, Q equal to 0, Q bar 1, this is for reset condition. Okay. Now, even now, this change in output is corrected here but it will not make any change it will not make any change just to see this one is coming here this one is coming here and this input is zero therefore this AND gate produces zero only now this zero is coming here this zero is coming here due to the presence of this one and one and this zero this AND gate produces 0. S equal to 0, R equal to 0 means there is no change. Therefore, this change in output will not produce any change in input of SR. 
therefore this output remains as it is now the last state that means what happens when you connect j equal to 1 k equal to 1 that is important in case of a jk flip flop now you change j equal to 1 and k equal to 1 now what are the inputs now and what are the feedback inputs let us see see now this is the outputs before i give 1 1 this is 0 and this is 1 now this and gate produces 1 here and this and gate produces 0 okay this and gate produces 1 and this produces 0 this is a input of set for SR flip flop it is a set input for SR flip flop now you have given 1 1 here you have given 1 1 here therefore here you are getting set input here therefore q equal to 1 q bar equal to 0 ok that means here 1 here 0 here 1 here 0 now compare this this in output and this output here it toggles here it toggles toggle means what just change the output from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 now <coughs> what happens for the input as well as output let us see now the output change to 1 and 0 now this 0 comes here this 0 comes here this 0 comes here and this 1 comes here this one is here now due to the new inputs the output is connected to input as a feedback therefore due to the new input of this i have not changed this one and this one due to the change in output it is given as an input due to that what will happen now due to the change in input of and gate you are getting s equal to 0 and r equal to 1 because three words are there now this is the input new input for sr flip flop s equal to 0 r equal to 1 s equal to 0 r equal to 1 means you are getting q equal to 0 and q bar equal to 1 okay you are getting q equal to 0 and q bar equal to 1 that means the same 1 1 but output changes from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 okay 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 again it toggles again it toggles we have not changed the input but the output toggles that means changes now also due to this change now also due to this change this zero is coming here that means the one becomes zero one becomes zero and this zero becomes one zero becomes one because this one is connected here now due to this change due to this change you are getting one here and you are getting zero here again see the set input of set input for sr flip flop therefore output changes to set means one zero set means one zero therefore for same one one you are getting one here zero here again it toggles now <coughs> first you have seen here the output toggles from 0 to 1, 1 to 0. Now we have not changed the inputs, but the output keep on toggling, keep on changing from 0 to 1, 1 to 0. This is called racing. This is called racing. Okay. That means it changes from 0, 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0. It changes from 0 to 1. 1 to 0, 0 to 1. Just like it keep on changing. Okay. How long this change will happen? How long this change will happen? Okay. Already we know 
CP cloud pulse is a cloud pulse is a square wave or rectangular wave. Square wave or rectangular wave. It is zero. It rises to one. That means positive triggering. And positive triggering is maintained for some time. Positive time triggering is maintained for some time. This is the time of positive triggering. For example, ten milliseconds. Okay. Actually. <clears throat> it may be less okay but for time being we let us assume 10 milliseconds this clock pulse is maintaining for one state now the propagation time for this input to reach the output the propagation time for the input to reach the output that means it takes 2 seconds okay it takes 2 milliseconds it takes 2 milliseconds to generate new output for the input that means after 2 milliseconds the output changes output changes due to the change in output it is connected here input changes due to the change in output input changes due to the input change you are getting output change due to this output change you are getting input change due to the input change you are getting output change this keep on changing this racing occurs around the circuit this racing occurs around the circuit okay around the circuit therefore it is called race around condition this is called race around condition okay the race is occurring around the circuit therefore it is called race around condition this is one of the drawback of this JK flip flop. We can overcome this drawback in the master slave flip flop in the next class. I understand? This race will occur until this one falls to zero. This racing will occur until this one falls to zero. If it falls to zero means clock pulse will be zero, whatever change in the output will not be taken as an input okay if it comes to zero means whatever change at the output will be coming here but cp will be zero therefore this change will not be carried out to the output okay therefore this drawback is due to this clock pulse only if you reduce the clock pulse timing to less than two milliseconds for example here okay then if it comes then it will not produce any change then output will be same output will not change therefore this time limit is very important for this change if you reduce this there will not be any change okay let us see master slave flip flop in the next class thank you if you have any doubt please drop in a comment thank you